Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide, and this time we are getting it all in the short yet fun One-Eyed Lee and the Dinner Party. Now the game was developed by Dark Chibi Shadow, published by Rathalika Games, and is usually available for $4.99, but it's on sale right now for just $3.99, so get it while it's all good, and watch out of course for future sales. Now we follow One-Eyed Lee, who funnily enough has one eye. And that wasn't a wiener joke either, you know, one eye winking, etc. <laughs> anyway, we follow Lee and friend Barakas as they solve a fairly short mystery in a dinner party, apparently, environment. Uh, now, this is definitely one of the better visual novels as we actually have to do stuff as opposed to just mashing the A button. Uh, as for achievements, the majority are basically missable but incredibly easy to get, so just pay a chance. Uh, so just pay attention to where I am and what I say, etc. Now we will be using the save manipulation method to unlock all the endings and you will go away a few quid slash dollars short but a thousand G's and a platinum trophy richer later. All in all I've gone fast but slow in the video so you can keep up without having to pause too much and we can get this done in as little as 15 minutes. So with that being said then let us begin. Now the first thing we are going to be doing as we look at one-eyed Lee's butt apparently we're going to go into the settings first and we're going to uh, click on unseen text after choices and transitions um, and then put the text speed all the way to the right and then press the A button again to, to confirm that one. So once everything's been checked we can now start the game and then you can just press the right bumper, the RB slash R1 button to skip through the dialogue and get to the game properly. So this is a nice start, we've got a skeleton with a hole in his head but we're actually going to choose the right option so we're going to go to the right and then we're going to interact with the old moose's head there, it looks delicious. Not that good for protein though, so again, press the R1 button anytime there's text on screen. Grab the sword from the right hand side and the poker on the fireplace. Happy days. Right, then press the X button to go into your map and then choose the library, the left side of the library there at the bottom. And then interact with the uh, books, the sort of missing part of the books right there. And then interact with this hippie skeleton sitting down. Choose, are you missing some books? And then nothing. Sorry. And then we press the X button again and we go into the adult bedroom on the bottom left hand corner. Sadly not as kinky as you thought, uh, but grab the paper just underneath the bed and the book just, uh, just hidden in the right hand corner and then press yes. Next we can go straight upstairs into the kids bedroom. This is also boring, but grab the notes in between the drawings on the wall and then interact with the chest which is just underneath the bed. Sorry my Welsh hunter signs in the way. Then we can go left into the Bognus Regis. Grab the green book and click yes. And then to get our first achievement, um, after we grab the note on the left hand side, we're going to interact with the toilet a couple of times. It may take a few seconds for the achievement to unlock, um, but basically we are going to unlock the gotta go achievement. You only need to click it about three or four times, but the delay was crappy. So press X and we're going straight up into the bathroom right upstairs. We're going to interact with the candle and we're going to choose milk and honey, the top option. Next we're going to interact with the bathtub and then choose let him continue and then sadly he dies but we need to choose the option I won't let it end like this uh, we do get the achievement there for dying or Lee's dying and then we could just choose stop him of course so he doesn't drown interact him with the bathtub again and then once more and then we can choose the poker option yeah so apologies it is coming quite fast at us there uh, but we're going to head down into the adult's bedroom so again open your map up go into the kinkiness that is not the adult's bedroom grab the hanger there on the bed post and then go into the map again to go back up to the bath interact with the bathtub again and then choose the hanger option this time okay back into the map we're going back into the kitchen area this time and we're going to have a little cheeky grab of the red curtain on the right then interact with the painting as well, and then choose the option left, 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 left. Left, 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 yeah. Right, next, what we can do then is just we can click on the safe once uh, for a little bit of dialogue there to appear, and then we can choose the skeleton butler. Choose, could you move? And then choose nothing, sorry. Right, and then go into the entryway, which is at the right, uh, basically the middle top, and then interact with this weird skeleton, and then choose the mind calling up the butler option. Right, next go back into your uh, map, go back down to the kitchen, speak with the weird butler again, and then choose, so, you and Isaac, huh? Wink, wink, what's going on? Then choose let him continue, and then that gets the butler out of the way. Now we can enter the code, choose the brute force it option there for another achievement, and then choose I won't let it end like this. 
Lee exploded. Unlucky. So we're going to try guessing the combination, and we know what the combination is then. It is 8, 3, 6, 2. So 8, 3, oh sorry, 8, 3, 2, 6. My bad, sorry. 8, 3, 2, 6. That is the combination. And then just interact with every everything. So the book, choose yes. And then the photos, the notes, and the canvas. And then once we've interacted with everything, we can uh, choose let's put this stuff away for now. And then choose the stove. And that gets us uh, the knife. And then we're going to interact with the pan. And then choose heat up the candle. Right, next, if we press the X button again to go back into our map, we're going to go um, to the den, which is on the top right-hand corner. Great looking den. Hey, honey, you're cute. Uh, grab the ticket or the piece of paper in between the settee cushions right there, and then just go left. And next, we're going to talk to uh, this skeleton woman again, and then choose what's inside your box. <laughs> That's funny, because that means two things. Anyway, uh, choose nothing, sorry, and then we're going back to the kid's bedroom. And then you can interact with the chest again, and then choose the yes option. And this time we're going to input the words die by his hand. All lowercase, no spaces, die by his hand. Which is very morbid, but I suppose we are on a skeleton house dinner party, so, you know, we can't be surprised. But die by his hand, luckily it's not die by his bone, because that would have hurt. So press X to whip open your map, and this time we're going to the left side of the dining room. Interact with the glass cabinet behind the skeletons, and then we're going to speak to Mr. Man in the red suit. Then we're going to choose how do we open up this cabinet and then choose the yes options. We've got the blue book now. We're going to interact with him again and then choose what, uh, so, you and Newton, huh? Wink, wink, <laughs> what's going on there? And then choose what's this weird thing. And then we can go back up to the den in the right, top right hand corner and interact with skeleton lady again. Now we're going to choose do we know about the affair and let's tell her. Because shit is, <laughs> that is juicy gossip, which everyone needs. So we're just going to be going back left right now, and then speaking to this skeleton lady. And then we're going to choose, is this your puzzle? We already know what's in her box. Offer the puzzle first, and then we can interact with the yellow book. And of course, choosing the yes exclamation mark option. Right now we can head to the right, we're going to choose a little skeleton there to speak to. And then choose, was there anything else keeping you from... Uh, your father was keeping from you. That unlocks another achievement. And then choose nothing sorry before heading back to the left side of the dining room. And interact with guy in the red suit. And what else are you keeping from us? And then let Lee ask. He doesn't do much Lee. Um, which I don't know why. But we're going back up into the bathroom. Interact with the bathtub again. And then that is it for this bit. We're going to the left side of the library now. And interact with the missing books. And everything's good. We're going to talk to a hippie skeleton and then choose, we got your books back. Happy days. She's not that thrilled though. Going right, we are going to uh, interact with the globe three times until we get a different option to make Lee stop spinning the globe and then let him drink it. We're such a good friend. We've let our friend Lee die plenty of times. Well, you shouldn't have slept on my, with my mother, should you? So now say obviously don't let him drink it and then attempt to clean the canvas. There you go. You mess with my mother, I let you drink poison crap. Anyway, we're going to the right side of the dining room this time where the moose head was. And now, interacting with the moose head, choose the scissors. Nice. So now we've got a little item from there. Now, where we're going is back into the entryway. And then we're going to interact with the painting, or the missing part of the painting, and then interact with it once more. And that should be good. We can now head to the right. Right, we're going to speak to a little skeleton old lady again, and then we're going to choose We Found All The Pieces. And that's us done for this little section. And then we're going to go to the right side of the library again. And this time, we're going to interact with the bookcase, but we are going to be making a save. This is where the endings are coming up. We're going to be manipulating these saves, so obviously click the save icon and then just choose, um, well, as many saves as you want, really. So, let's head down. Press the R1 button to skip it, and then just choose every single bit of dialogue. So face, age, what happened to you, about Isaac and about Newton, about your habits, and then finish your diagnosis. And then we can interact with the door behind the bookcase. Yes, we're ready. Let's do this. So we're going to go right twice, and then we're going to say yes, and then what we're going to do is attack every single time. So just keep spamming A on the attack button. And then that is basically going to let Lee die, which is just unfortunate. But we're going to say, I won't let him die. I'm a good friend. 
So next we are going to attack again. Attack, 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 attack. Emily attack, attack, attack. I won't let him die and then just keep attacking, 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 attacking again. I won't let him die. And then this time we unlock an achievement called Who, but we're going to interact with the friendship option. Happy days. So what we're going to do now is go to item, choose the knife. Press the wait button, and then attack, 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 attack again. There we go, keep going, keep going, and then choose I won't let him die, and then choose a drink. Go back to item, choose the booze, which is what we would always choose. Choose wait, and then go back to item, and then choose the knife, and then attack, 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 attack again. And this is where the true ending unlocks, so that's delicious. So go to your load. Uh, <laughs> go take a look at your load. I wouldn't personally recommend it if it's been there a while. Uh, but obviously we're going back into this save. So there should only be really be one save that we've made so far. And uh, what we're doing then is going to go back downstairs. Eventually. Oh, there he is. There I am. So this time we're going to choose every single dialogue option except about Newton. So face, age, what happened to you, Isaac, habits, and finish your diagnosis. So do not choose the one with Newton. And then we can go choose, yes, you're ready, go right twice, and then obviously choose the yes option. So what we're going to do now this time then, we're going to uh, take the knife this time. And we're going to attack and attack and attack and attack and attack and attack and attack. There we go, happy days, and that already unlocks the normal ending. So we should only have two achievements left to get now. We're coming up very, very quickly close to the end, so we're going to load up the same bit that we just did. We're going to obviously get head down again. What we're going to do, though, is choose what about what happened to you, about Isaac, about Newton, about your habits, and finish your diagnosis. So ignore the face and the age thing. And then we should be good to go. Yes, we're ready. Do the same thing. Uh, write twice and then press the yes button. Next time we're going to talk. And we're going to keep on talking. Now, to me, if I got if I kept getting talked at, I'd probably die as well. Uh, choose the I won't let him die option. Keep talking and talking and talking. And talking and talking. I won't let him die. And then keep talking and talking and talking and talking. Talk the moral to death. That is how you get someone to die. This time we're going to choose a drink when we get this option up. And then we're going to talk the crap out of him again. My God, stop boring me. Stop talking. Then we are going to choose. We get another achievement called Barakas Died. Then we're going to choose nothing. Nothing. You are nothing to me. Anyway, that's it basically. So we've done that. We can now head back into the main menu. All we need to do now is play the prologue, press the right bumper slash R1 button, and that will be that for this game. Now, like I said, this was definitely one of the uh, better published Rattle Like a uh, uh, Visual Novel games. I, I enjoyed playing it, and it's only 15 minutes long, which is awesome too. Uh, so once you press the right bumper again here, the achievement will unlock. And that'll be that then, guys and gals. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. Of course, if it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Uh, don't forget to check me out on all my socials, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon as well. A big, huge, massive shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel, whether you are on Patreon, especially to those on Patreon, but even those who just leave likes and comments and everything, and to all my new subscribers as well. So... That's that thing, guys and gals. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye-bye, big love.